evaluate, evaluate, evaluate. This is one of the 12 golden rules of public health nutrition practice. Ultimately, all of our efforts in health promotion are aimed at increasing health-promoting behaviors. Yet, if we don't evaluate the impact of our programs, we will not know what impact our work has had. After watching this video, you should be able to indicate why evaluation is a key component of public health practice, describe the advantages of planning your evaluation early, and reflect upon the challenges associated with conducting program evaluations to determine how those challenges can best be overcome. Meet Dr. Beth Snow. She has a background in human nutrition, but now works in program evaluation. I'm the evaluation specialist in the population and public health program at Fraser Health. So I do uh, all sorts of evaluation projects across the whole program. Um, so this can be things related to our immunization programs, communicable diseases, uh, HIV and STIs, um, as well as our perinatal health services and um, youth clinics. It's, it's a really broad program. Evaluating health promotion initiatives enables us to determine if we're achieving our goals and if we are making good use of the limited funds available for public health. I think that evaluating any kind of health uh, program is very important. Um, especially population and public health types of programs. Um, we're looking at, uh, you know, health outcomes for, for a population and um, knowing that what we're doing is actually moving us in the right direction is really important. Despite its importance, people may initially resist evaluation efforts. One of the big struggles people have with evaluation is that it seems to be um, unfamiliar to a lot of people. So things that are unfamiliar tend to be scary. Um, often evaluation is confused with auditing, which is seen as a sort of uh, punitive, you have to do what you're told to do or you're going to be in trouble sort of tone to it, which evaluation is not. Evaluation really is about uh, trying to make things work as effectively as we can. Um, so oftentimes my work, when I'm working as an evaluator with a new group that I haven't worked with before is just to explain what evaluation is um, and point out that we have the same goals. We both want the best care for our patients and the best health for our population um, and that my role as an evaluator is to help them get to where they're trying to go. So how do we go about planning an evaluation of a particular program or initiative? One of the key things is to start planning program evaluation early. Ideally, evaluation should be planned at the same time that the overall program itself is being planned. The evaluation questions you identify should be based on the objectives of your program, so they can actually be created as soon as you finalize your objectives. For example, perhaps one of your short-term objectives is to increase self-efficacy for healthy eating. One of your evaluation questions may be, do program participants report higher self-efficacy for healthy eating after completion of the program? Planning what you would like to evaluate early on enables you to integrate the evaluation into program implementation, and this makes it much more likely that you will be able to collect the data you need to determine the impact of your program. Ideally, evaluation should be thought of um, right when you're planning your program. Um, evaluation has a lot to offer in terms of helping program planners um, think about what objectives they're trying to meet, what outcomes they're, they're hoping to get. What types of evidence should you plan to collect in order to evaluate your program? So the evidence that um, I use in evaluations really depends on what the evaluation question is and what, what type of evaluation it is. So for a uh, developmental or a process evaluation, um, I might be wanting to hear about the experiences of the clients receiving the service or the staff delivering the service to see what's working for them, what's not working for them, and what kind of things the program can do to be um, more effective at what it's doing. So the, the evidence can be um, interviews or focus groups or brainstorming sessions, those kinds of things. Um, if you're looking more for an outcome evaluation, you might look at indicators like you know, what percentage of your clients are satisfied with the service or um, what health um, outcomes have changed as a result of your program. As you know, developing a logic model can be an extremely important step in planning a health promotion initiative. 
but the usefulness of a logic model is not limited to the planning phase. Logic models are also very helpful when evaluating health promotion programs. I use logic models quite a bit in the evaluations that I do. I find them very effective as a tool for a number of reasons. Um, the, the actual process of creating a logic model, which I always do collaboratively with the people working on the program, um, is a great way for program planners to actually sit down and reflect on their program, to think about what they're really trying to achieve, to think about what activities they're doing to try to achieve those outcomes. Uh, sometimes you can work through a logic model process and figure out, oh, we're trying to achieve a certain outcome, but none of our activities actually lead to that outcome. Evaluating the impact of programs enables us to determine if we are achieving what we set out to achieve. Program evaluation should not be considered an add-on or an optional part of program development. Integrating evaluation into the planning and implementation phases can actually improve programs and make it much more likely that the initiatives themselves will be successful. I think evaluation can play a really important role in the success of programs, especially if the evaluator is involved right from the beginning. Um, evaluation can help set up the program um, in a very thoughtful way so that the uh, outcomes are kept in mind and so that the necessary data is being collected so we're able to demonstrate whether or not the program is successful. The results of program evaluation can be extremely important within the context of a particular project. For example, evaluation data can justify continued investment in a particular program and serve to refine the strategies used to achieve particular goals. But the results of program evaluations can also be very useful beyond the immediate context within which a particular program was implemented. So, sharing the results of program evaluation more broadly can actually enable people to learn from the experience of others and make better informed decisions when it comes to planning programs for their own particular context. The results of many program evaluations compiled together may actually also be applied to refine the health behavior theory upon which those interventions were based. And yet, most evaluations are not published or shared with a broader audience. There's a number of reasons I think that evaluations often don't get published. Um, one is that people are um, concerned about if anything looks bad. Um, an another is just the time factor. So I'm the only evaluator for um, the public health program um, for the largest health authority in the province. So when I'm done a project, I don't have a few weeks to write a paper. I'm on to my other four or five other evaluations that I'm working on. Of course, there are challenges associated with conducting evaluations. Here, Beth explains some of the challenges that she has encountered. There are a, a number of challenges that I've uh, found I've experienced over and over again with multiple evaluations. Um, one has been uh, evaluation being requested kind of late in the game. So the program's been running for a while and an evaluation is requested. Um, and so coming in as evaluator, you start to ask what your objectives are and you know what set of data do you have and there, well there is no baseline data um, we want to know if we're better than we were before this program ran but we have no data on how we were doing before the program ran um, another pro, uh, challenge that I've experienced quite a bit is that evaluation is seen as an add-on rather than an integral part of the healthcare we're offering um, so healthcare workers are extremely busy. They have huge client loads. They have very complex cli client loads. And their primary objective is to serve their clients, which is what it should be. Um, but when they're sort of running from client to client, asking them, can you collect this data? Can you come out to this meeting to help develop a logic model for your program? Um, is often really overwhelming for people. And it can be a challenge to, um, to get them to sort of buy into the process. Beth is an expert in evaluation. What is her most important advice for people who are just learning how to conduct program evaluations? I think the number one thing I'd want to share with people who are learning evaluation is to start with your question. Um, often people um, come to you, I want an evaluation and you know, we got to do a survey or we really want focus groups or um, they have a method in mind. 
And it's really important to take a step back and say, okay, what is our evaluation question? Are we wanting to know efficiency? Are we wanting to know effectiveness? Are we wanting to just look at process feasibility? There's a number of reasons you can do an evaluation. And um, the most important thing to do is start from the beginning and say, what evaluation questions are we trying to address? And then look at what approach, what design, and what methods are going to answer those questions. I think the most important thing that I've learned working as an evaluator is to be, is to be open. Um, just let your curiosity guide you. So you can do your planning, um, you can anticipate you know, the outcomes you're trying to achieve, but it's really important to be open to those unanticipated consequences, uh, to see where the process goes. Um, and to, to listen to all the stakeholders because um, sometimes there's opposing views, say you're doing interviews or focus groups, and it's really important to just be curious about why that is and to look at the multiple perspectives to get a really sort of rich understanding of what's going on. Evaluation, an essential aspect of public health nutrition practice that is not actually limited to the period of time following program implementation. When integrated into the planning and implementation phases, it can actually greatly enhance the success of programs. And at the end of the day, it's only through program evaluation that we will know if our goals have been met.